Today we pick up our Bible study in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 16 through 19. The Apostle Paul has taught the congregation of the church at Corinth that as Christ Jesus has died, and all have died to sin through Christ Jesus, then they should no longer live as to the flesh or worldly ways and desires, but as to God in the spirit of the new life as representatives of salvation provided for them in the death, and most importantly, the new spiritual life that Jesus now lives through his resurrection. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 18 and 19, quoting from the New King James Version, Paul states, Now all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, and has given us the ministry of reconciliation, that is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. This is a promise of reconciliation to God through Christ Jesus. This is an example of why we, in Christ, should live new lives in the Spirit through Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul states in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16, Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. Jesus came and lived a life in the flesh, but he died to the flesh sinless and now lives eternal in his new spiritual body. This is the, the way we should view Jesus now in the eternal spiritual body as we too will join him for all who believe in him and profess him our savior. Jesus teaches in John chapter four, verses 23 and 24, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the father in spirit and truth for the father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and truth. Our new lives in Christ Jesus are new spiritual lives as the change we experience is not a no noticeable physical change. We still look the same, but the change is a spiritual change in our hearts, minds, and souls as Jesus in Matthew chapter 22 verse 37 quotes Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 stating, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Dear Lord, we become new creatures when your Holy Spirit enters our hearts and purifies us from sin. We are now a new creation through our salvation in and through Christ Jesus. Please help us to not live any longer in the fleshly ways of this world, but in the new light of life found only in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. If you'd like to learn more about the Bible and how you can apply its lessons in your life, join us each day as we reach out to share Jesus with the world and help us all find purpose in life. Subscribe to our channel, turn on your notifications, and don't forget to share YouTube at In Christ Ministries with all your family and friends. And be sure to check us out on our new Tuesday night Bible study on the Wisdom of Proverbs, airing each Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time. See you there.